The quarterfinals kicked off in style with one of world rugby's closest rivalries, England versus Australia, as the teams went head to head at Oita Stadium. The two have locked horns 50 times in their history, with the Wallabies winning 25, England 24, and one draw showcasing how evenly matched these two heavyweights are. Eddie Jones's side entered the fixture as favourites, having won their last six meetings against the men in green and gold. Who would be the first team to book their ticket for the semi-finals? Quick ball for England. First touch, Henry Slade bounces out of his grasp. Curtly Beal cuts through. Beal for the Wallabies against Elliot Daly. Beal beats him, but it's a wonderful covering tackle by the England captain Owen Farrell. Scott Seo had to juggle. He loses it. England give away the penalty. Yes, he just got wrapped up around the neck there in the tackle, Scott Seo, but great attack and vision from Kirtley Beal. He came streaming in from a mile back. This to open the scoring. There's that little curl. It's good by Christian Leofano. Finds Courtney Laws. Tuilangi. Tuilangi half a yard through the tackle of Michael Hooper. Slade. Farrell. Daly quickly to Watson. Corin Betty can't take him. Reese Hodge can't take him. Anthony Watson beating two defenders. Farrell, England give it to Mako Vunipola, who straightens, drives, and here they come again. Farrell. Manu Tuilangi running hard. England win numbers. Tom Curry. Johnny May. His 50th cap. His 26th try for his country. England take the lead. England well executed. On the front foot, some good double running lines. Anthony Watson's been fantastic with two touches in no space at all. Good feet. And they've been clinical at the finish, England. Patient and accurate. And Johnny May benefits. Beautiful pass from Kirtley Beal. There's the strength of Pitaya. Maruitoji just managed to get him at the second attempt. Michael Hooper has the strength to get the ball to ground. Play on, Play on says the referee. David Pocock just does that. Interception by Henry Slade. Johnny May with him. The kick for May to chase. It's going to be two in three minutes. Johnny May again for England. Clever, clever play from Henry Slade. The Australians tangling one another up. Ball goes to ground from Pocock, and Johnny May was calling for the kick. Henry Slade saw the space as well, but for May to get it on that outward angle, to get that final bounce as we see the mistake again. Not sure of what they were doing, the Wallabies, and off he goes, Henry Slade. Watch this angle from Johnny May as he veers outwards to get away from the covering Samu Karevi. Set piece move. Australia peel around and bring it infield. England have held it up. It's there for Genya. Rodder to within five meters. England again charging up too quickly. It's Henry Slade who's offside. There still might be something on it. Lea Leofano can't make it. No advantage. Penalty Australia. Yeah, I suspect when we see that again from Henry Slade that he genuinely believed the ball was out there. It wasn't, a judge not to have been, so... Finally, Australia get the chance. Christian Le Le Leifano adds the three. Australia get their scoreboard working again. No respite for the front rows. Good ball for England. Anthony Watson. Here is Tuilangi. Leia Leofano. 
not rolling away. Penalty, England. Strokes it safely through. Bye. One. Six. Two. It's gone down again, and Australia get the penalty. Kyle Sinclair. Well, he'll say, I can't believe it. But Australia, they're quite used to being behind at half time. Fiji led at half time. Wales led at half time. And they are behind at half time here in Oita. Australia on the attack. Naisarani straightens. Johnny May back on his feet as a tackler. Isaac Rodder takes on Maru Itoji and Billy Vunipola. Beal again. There is room for Australia. Pataya. And it's a chance for. Karoin Betty to come away must be a try for Australia. Marika Karoin Betty, what a start to the second half. Australia right back in the fight. The feat, the vision from Australia to get that ball wide. It was Reese Hodge, out it goes to Pataira. Thought he'd blown it, turning it on the inside. And Corabetti, away he goes, no space to work, and he didn't need support. This is wow. a beautiful example, sorry, of the different styles we're seeing out there from these teams. Australia have been working on that instinctive play for quite some time. They look up, they assess where the defence is, and they make their decisions in full flight. That is exactly what he did. Akovuni Pola, good hands from the prop. Sam Underhill delivers. Tom Curry, the other young flanker good pick up by Farrell Daly to Watson Beal just gets enough for the cavalry to arrive in the form of Reese Hodge Mako Vunipola who is very much involved in the start of this promising England build up Kyle Sinter clean through powers through Kirtley Beal England respond with their try their third of the match Big Kyle Sinclair, watch it there. It just opened up the timing of the pass, the accuracy of the pass, and off he goes. Kirtley Beal, there's no way you can stop the big man from that close. Good England scrimmage. Penalty advantage. He's had a big couple of minutes, Jamie George winning the turnover and then at the heart of that drive England's lead grows Dan Cole wears 18 he watches it go over his heading now England do set up a driving mall the referee is happy with everything oh, this looks promising for England Sam Underhill with his Hands on it, Rory Arnold uses those long levers, but it's a penalty advantage, Ben Yant drops the ball. I don't think there was ever any real thought from the players that that might have been a try. Six out of six for Owen Farrell. <laughs> penalty advantage, England. The screw turns again. Australia had no option really here but to end up infringing, didn't they? <laughs> Australia will keep going, but that's their own goal line behind them. It's it's a mile to go to the other end of the field. Sweet chariots rings out around the Oita Stadium. Australia win themselves a penalty. Nick White takes it quickly and is away. Finds support. Samuel Karevi, Kirtley Beale cuts back the other way. 
Chased down by Jonathan Joseph. The last of the subs. Anthony Watson picks off the pass. The job is complete. No stopping England now. They were marching into the semi-final and now they're racing there. Anthony Watson, what a way to cap off the night. He hasn't had a huge amount of opportunities in space with the ball in hand. What ball he's got, he's done so much with. And that's the icing on the cake for England. England triumph for Noita and advance to the semi-finals as they send the Wallabies home after a dominant 40 points to 16 display. With four tries, the English have made a statement to the world and continue their march in Japan.